I was on my way to work. It was like two in the afternoon, and I'm working full time in high school, so mm -hmm. I'm tired. Um, right, right. Fell asleep with the wheel. Next, um, well, I'm still in high school, so um, finishing high school, graduating. Um, uh, I'm looking at the Marine Corps. You know, I've always wanted to be a Marine, so I think that's the next step. Uh, you know, they don't need to be best friends, but it would have been nice if they could be adults about it and get along and do it for the sake of their kids. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, August 3rd, 2023, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been a couple weeks. The Goslin tea is still going, and we have an update because Colin Goslin is getting sued for a couple car situations that happened within the last few years with driving. And in one of the lawsuits, it showed that he is living at an apartment or was living at an, an apartment, a one bedroom apartment that is, prior to going into the Marine Corps, which sort of sets this like question of like, Colin moved out of his dad's house, that's kind of strange. And then John actually confirmed that Colin wasn't living with him and he kind of dropped it sort of like accidentally into this interview or maybe not so accidentally. And he gave some details about Colin and Hannah. And on top of that, John Goslin has a new girlfriend or not a new girlfriend, a a girlfriend that he's been with for two years and that he lives with and he's renting a house with and they apparently are like madly in love and this is the best relationship that he's had ever. John gave some world exclusives to The Sun and it seems like The Sun photographers went with them on an event where they went to a hotel and got some five-star treatment and they had a bunch of photographs that were shared. But John has a girlfriend, her name is Stephanie. She has a 13-year-old daughter. They live together, they're super happy. They met through a friend. That's basically what I'll tell you about that. And I'll give you a little bit more details, but it was kind of what he said about Colin that I thought was a little bit interesting. And he also shared some stuff about Kate. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, can you do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Click on the bell so you can get notified of any time I go live or new content loads. If you have something to say, make sure to leave a, leave a comment. And if you would like to, please share this video with your friends. We recently hit 340,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for joining in on the subscriptions. It's free. So let's go. So the new girlfriend was released through this world exclusive and it says John Goslin reveals he's madly in love with his girlfriend Stephanie Lebo and they kept their relationship secret for two years. Basically, she's 35, he's 46. They met through a friend at a barbecue. Uh, it's his friend that is like a good friend of his and his girlfriend now was a friend of his friends and so there was like bro code they had to go through and long story short, they're super happy and he is like really into, they're really into each other and they live together. The whole article goes into like all these things like their first kiss and how they met and I don't know if anyone really cares about that. I'll link the article in the description box below. But he did say this, I feel like it's taken 19 years to find Steph. All the trials and tribulations and the heartbreak, the fighting, the worrying about who is going to talk about me to the press, then finally I meet Steph. I never thought relationships were easy. I always thought my relationships were going to be a struggle and people would always have a chip on their shoulder where they'd say, screw you, you're famous. I don't have anything and, I, and I'd have to give up this or that. But this time it's not like that at all, it's easy. Apparently they have a very cool relationship. She never gets jealous when apparently girls wanna take pictures with him when he's out DJing. And he said that there used to be in his previous relationships the all the beginnings would be great but then miscommunications and secrets would sort of take over now apparently john's mom uh really loves this new girlfriend as i'm korean i really wanted my mom's approval my mom absolutely loves steph they are always texting it just makes my family dynamic much easier i didn't have that so much in my previous relationships especially with kate hell no i was segregated from my family with kate it was kate and the kids and that was it 
She doesn't talk to her own family, so she tried to segregate me from mine until I woke up one day. Now I call my mom every day and I call Steph's mom every day. People might see what's going on between me and Kate over the last few years and they think I'm the difficult character, but I'm actually on good terms with all of my exes. Kate is the only one I don't speak to. Colleen and I just decided we weren't right for each other, but we still talk and we're on good terms. I talk to all of my exes. It seems like John just doesn't want to be the narrative that Kate has manifested and created about him. Being a dad that didn't care, was a deadbeat, that wasn't around, blah, blah, blah. And I can understand his his desire to want to clean that up. I'm not surprised to hear about her, her segregating him. And I, I think he talked about that like years and years ago about how when he got out of that relationship, he felt like he had been stuck in a marriage where he wasn't able to actually be himself and she always wanted him to be around. And he was on this show like Couples Therapy years ago and he talked about how Kate always had a list of things that he had to do and then one day he decided not to do the list and instead he went out and like he came home and she didn't say anything and he just kept doing that because she was like shocked that he didn't do that like that he didn't do all of her lists and like he talked about how his whole marriage he had always had to do whatever Kate wanted him to do and she, he had been really segregated and he was never allowed to see his friends so I mean I'm glad that he's having some um good times and now that the kids are older and that they're all adults now I really hope that we can move to a place where the two of them can like exist in opposite spectrums of society and they don't have to talk about each other anymore you know what I mean like I feel bad that he's been put through the ringer, for sure. Good to know that he has a good girlfriend. So the other article was that he has a ninth child, okay? I don't think he really has a ninth child. It's just that his girlfriend, Stephanie, has a daughter named Juliana. He tells them that he and his girlfriend, they've moved into this five bedroom home in Pennsylvania and that they're renting and they both sold their homes and renting is just perfect for them right now. And this is this is where he kind of dropped some random information about Colin that I didn't know was going on. It says it's a big five bedroom house and we wanted a big space so our families can come and hang out and come for holidays. We were previously in a smaller place, but now all our families can come together. Our families can come over. It's perfect. We don't go out as much because we love being at home and they've settled into living together. And he said we were we are all pretty much living together. Colin was living on his own, but then he came to live with us for a few days before he went to the Marine. So Colin got into a car accident like in the fall of 2022. And in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, he had mentioned that he was working full time while he was in high school. And I was like, well, that's strange, but it sounds like he might've moved out his senior year of high school and decided to get his own apartment. And here's the thing about the Goslin kids is they started a year late. So they were held back and they turned 18 when they were juniors. So their entire senior year of high school, they were adults and they turned 19 in May. So he theoretically could move out. I mean, he didn't have to live with his parents. He could still go to high school and live on his own. It's, interesting that he made the choice to move out of his dad's and it's interesting that they never talked about that and then he kind of drops it in this article i don't know what that was about i mean maybe colin after being away from the family for such a long time was maybe they had struggles living together maybe colin wanted his own space maybe turning 18 he wanted to live on his own i don't know but yeah he's getting sued for those a couple car accidents and the the address listed on them is an apartment, but as John said that he moved out of that apartment and now he's at the boot camp for the Marines and he moved in with them for a couple days before he left. And then when it comes to Hannah, it says Hannah floats in and out and she stays here a few times a week when she's not with her boyfriend. And Juliana's daughter lives with us, so we're all living together. It was a bit of an adjustment period. Most of our arguments were about our kids not doing enough around the house. I don't want to lie. I want to keep it real. Life isn't always perfect. I feel like I'm always saying, put your dish in the dishwasher and no one listens. <laughs> they were all living together and then Colin moved out and Hannah lives there, but also stays with her boyfriend. And she has a boyfriend named, I think his name is Lennon and he's a year older than her. So I think he graduated before her. Uh, Stephanie says that she and Hannah actually have a really close relationship. She said, when I first met Hannah, she wouldn't let me touch her. 
She was very much like, don't hug me. I've never had that in my life. I don't want that now. And now as soon as she comes in, she gives me a huge hug. She lays in my bed and she loves it when I stroke her hair. She was never very lovey, but now she is. She calls me Steffi. She'll text me if I haven't seen her for a few days and I say, I miss you. We have a very close relationship and I love her. So they're also, you know, John says that he's learning how to be sort of like a stepdad. No, they're not married, but he said it took Juliana and I a while to warm up to each other. But now I merely work at night now. So we hang out a lot during the day. I'll say to her, do you want to go to Hershey Park? And she'll be like, yes, let's go. She's been used to being on her own with her mom and she's very self-sufficient. She can make her own chicken nuggets. I'm learning more about Juliana and I think we have similar personalities. We both like to be alone and play on our electronics. With Juliana, I feel like she's my ninth child. Juliana has a different last name than her mom, but she said, I don't want to be a Lebo. I want to be a Goslin. Hannah joked, you know, with our name comes a lot of responsibility. For a 13 year old, I thought that was pretty neat. And she just told, she was, she has told John she loves him and she sees him as a dad. They're not going to have any more kids. Uh, Steph does really great with fans. So I'm really glad to hear that Hannah has found a companion in, in Stephanie. And I, I, I hope that Stephanie and John's relationship will be the long haul. John's had a lot of girlfriends, a lot of girlfriends. And, you know, he has had a lot of ups and downs and he goes from relationship to relationship. So I, I certainly hope this is the real deal, deal especially for the kids, because uh, they probably want to have some level of stability in their lives. But this is what Stephanie said about John and Kate. I sometimes think with Kate and other people John has been around, is it something to do with your childhood growing up? Was it was there some issues? Is that why you are how you are? Because everything they say is wrong with John. I just don't see it. We don't argue about anything. She pushed back on people who say he's a bad father, pointing out that he has served as a father figure for her daughter and he doesn't have to do that. And then she said, but for her, Kate, to sit there and say this and that in the public about him towards Colin and Hannah, well, number one, a judge awarded him custody for a reason. And number two, he's never yelled at my child or done anything bad to them or manipulated them any sense. No way. It takes a lot in the state of Pennsylvania for a judge to award full custody to a father. It's usually veered towards the mother. I've actually heard that quite a bit about especially in Berks County, being very heavy focused on moms. Uh, Stephanie wishes that the other kids would be comfortable coming around. She said, I wish the other kids would come around, pointing to her experience with members of her own family, uh, being estranged. And then she used to be a beautician. Now she's an analyst. She recently talked about how the holidays and how she would love to have the kids all over at the holidays. And she said, last Thanksgiving, we were all eating and, Hanny, and Hannah said, we haven't said thanks yet so she started and she said the first person i want to thank is steph because you have made home home and i choked she said i love my mom but you make holidays home you make birthdays home we love to have traditions we dye eggs at easter and make baskets i'm so glad that hannah has found a mother figure and i really really hope that this works out for him because she sounds like she's got a really sweetheart he's had some ex-girlfriends that have been pretty like a lot like Kate and Stephanie seems a lot more laid back to be honest. Kate's been pretty clear about you know where she stands and she says that Colin wasn't able to live in harmony with his dad and Hannah that he's still a volatile and dangerous man uh, to which John says are those allegations are false and that he said that he and Stephanie are very proud of him and they're excited to see his career blossom with the Marines. And mostly it's just like, you know, it makes me, it breaks my heart a little bit to hear that the kids didn't grow up with a lot of love and like hugging. Kate really wasn't much of a hugger with her kids. And she had so many of them, there probably wasn't a lot of time for individual cuddles and snuggles and kind of breaks my heart and then the other thing i'm hoping is that i hope hannah knows that this article's out and i hope she's okay with stephanie talking with stephanie talking about her i'm sure she is or else i don't think she would talk about her i don't know why i'm just so i always get so nervous about that kind of stuff but it seems like john and stephanie are happy and i'm hoping that we can sort of 
maybe this is the start of turning of another page. Like, hey, I'm coming out of hiding. I do have another girlfriend. We're very happy. I'm moving on with my life. Like, is that? I'm hoping that that's kind of the message here, because. Everyone in the Gosselin family deserves happiness. They all deserve to be able to move forward. Kate deserves to have accountability for the crap she pulled on her family. And I don't necessarily find anything that she's done to be acceptable. Um, but it would be nice if the family itself could be, you know how like when you're in a family estrangement and you just sort of accept it for what it is and then you don't have to talk crap about each other anymore. That's kind of how I hope it happens, but we never know. I mean, this is the Goslins. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of voices and there's a lot of perspectives and there's still a lot that hasn't been said by the kids. Uh, none of the other kids responded to the docuseries. Apparently they're embarrassed by it. They weren't happy that Hannah and Colin and John were in it and they don't want to be famous and they want nothing to do with it. And Maddie deleted all of her social media, basically all of her TikToks except for sponsored content. Her Instagram is now gone and she's sort of like gone into hiding after she made serious allegations against her brother, accusing him of like hate speech and being racist and violent with, you know, and she got tons of backlash and now she's offline. So anyways, Colin moved out, which again, questions like, why did he move out? But maybe he just needed space. Uh, Colin's in the Marines. Colin had his own apartment. Colin's being sued. And Hannah found happiness, lives with her dad, but also stays with her boyfriend. Sounds like your average 19-year-old girl. All right, you guys, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.